In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve optimization problems in calculus. This is question 13. The question reads, find the dimensions x and y and the minimum cost for a 10 meter cubed capacity open top box with a square bottom. The sides are aluminum at $1.28 per meter squared and the bottom is copper at $2.13 meter squared. An aluminum to aluminum joint cost $3.95 per meter and a copper to aluminum joint costs two dollars and eight cents per meter. The best approach to answering this question is to write down the costs as provided in the question. We are told that the sides are aluminum and it costs a dollar and twenty-eight cents per meter squared. So the area for the side here, the area which can be represented as x times y because it's a square length times width, if we multiply that area by the rate of a dollar twenty-eight, we'll get the cost. So the cost of the sides are one dollar and twenty-eight cents times x times y, and that's the aluminum side. We're told that the bottom is composed of copper, and that it costs two dollars and thirteen cents. Now, since the dimensions of the bottom are x times x, we'll take two point thirteen and multiply that by x times x, or x squared. That's the copper bottom. We're also told the cost of one aluminum to aluminum joint. So if this is an aluminum face and this is an aluminum face, the joint here cost $3.95 times y. So $3.95 times y represents the aluminum to aluminum joint. And the last cost they mention is the copper to aluminum joint, which is two dollars and eight cents. The only time that the aluminum and the copper touch is at the bottom. So we'll represent that as two dollars and eight cents times x. Now that we have all the costs written out, what we can do is add up all of these costs for a total cost C. So I'll do that below. Therefore, the total cost is one dollar and twenty-eight cents x y and since we have four faces that represents the aluminum sides I'll multiply this number by four plus two dollars and thirteen cents times x to the power of two plus the aluminum to aluminum joints we had four of those so we'll multiply this three dollars and ninety five cents y by four and lastly the aluminum to copper joint we also had four of those, one, two, and two that you can't see. We'll multiply the cost of 2.08 by four. Now what's interesting about this question is they tell us what the volume is. They tell us that it's 10 meters cubed. Volume is equal to 10 meters cubed. And if you look at this diagram carefully, the volume of a square based prism is V is equal to length times width times the height. The length and the width are the same, so we can replace that with x squared, x times x, and the height is y. Volume, of course, is 10. We can actually convert this equation so that it's exclusively in terms of x by solving for y of this volume equation, where we get y is equal to 10 over x squared. And if I replace this number into all of these y's, I now have an equation that's exclusively in terms of x, and I can take the derivative of that with respect to x. Here's what I mean. Cost is equal to 4 times 1.28x, and remember y is now represented as 10 over x squared, 10 over x squared, plus 2.13 x squared plus 4 times 3.95 times 10 over x squared plus 4 times 2.08. Now what I'll do is simplify this as much as I can and then take the derivative. I can start the simplification off by canceling this x with one of these. I can also multiply this 4 and this 10 together in addition to this 1.28, and I'll use my calculator for that. 
So I have 4 times 1.28 times 10. That gives us 256 over 5, which is equal to 51.2 over x. And if you simplify the rest, you should end up with the following expression. Now it's time to take the derivative. The derivative of 51.2 over x. Well, 1 over x can be written as x to the power of negative 1. So technically, this is 51.2 times x to the power of negative 1. I'll use the power rule to derive this, so I'll take this negative 1 and multiply it to 51.2 and subtract that by negative 1, that gives me negative 2. So this becomes negative 51.2 over x to the power of 2. I've just reverted that back to positive exponents. This becomes, once again I'll use the power rule, so 2 times 2.13, that's equal to 4.26 plus 4.26x to the power of 1. We subtract that by 1. This term becomes, and I'll use the same technique as before without writing it down, it would be negative 2 times 158 over x to the power of 3. Let's find out what that is equal to. Negative 2 times 158 is equal to negative 316. And lastly, the derivative of this term is equal to 8.32. At this stage, and just like with all the other questions we've done, we would have to set c prime equal to 0. But this is not an easy equation where x can be found right away. You would have to use a table of values, find out an approximate solution for x by graphing the table of values, and perhaps use the Newton's method to figure out the solution. That being said, I'm going to let you try the Newton's method. I do have a video dedicated to that. And uh, what you could do is come up with a table of values and some outputs for C prime for this particular equation. And you don't have to be super accurate with the Newton's method. That's the nice thing about it. You can find out where approximately the curve is passing through x is equal to 0. And once you get an accurate x value for where it is passing through, x is equal to 0. You can then substitute that back into the original equation to find out the minimum cost for this 10 meter cubed volume prism. And so there you have it. That is how to solve optimization problems in calculus.